I'm Bear Grylls and I'm embarking on an epic journey along the beautiful and rugged south coast of England. From the spectacular Pool Harbour, home to the Scouts, all the way along to Devon, home of the Royal Marines Commandos. Come on, one, two. I'll be travelling by any means possible, by sea, air and by land. Uh, that is crazy going over a house. Joining me on the trip are going to be my trusted film crew and a load of great adventure buddies. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing stories, survival advice, as well as some top travel and adventure tips. So strap in and join me as we travel along some of Britain's most stunning coastline in search of thrills, yeah! adventure. Oh, that was amazing. And a whole bunch of fun. Go! <laughs> Those of you that know me, whether it's crew or friends or family, will know that I have a few kind of adventure obsessions. Uh, they're generally rooted around either mountains and flying, or they're to do with the sea and boats. When it comes to boats, there's one type of boat in particular that I'm really pretty obsessed by, and that's ribs or rigid inflatable boats. They have been a huge part of my life since I was a kid growing up and then through the military we used them a lot and then on many expeditions we took a rib all over the world on fun things. Probably the hairiest was taking an open rib across the Arctic Ocean in 2003. Almost killed us all. We spend part of the year up in North Wales. We live on a little island up there. Shara and me bought it when we were just getting married. We almost bought this one bedroom flat in London and we couldn't afford it. And then we saw a houseboat and an island for sale and the combined price was less than the one bedroom flat in London. So we went for the adventure route, bought the island and a houseboat on the Thames. And you will have seen us paramotoring over and doing lots of fun things. But here's the point, to access the island, we need a boat and we have tried every sort of rib over the years but I'm about to show you my favourite of all time. This is what's called a sea legs. This is the latest one we've just custom built for the island. The key element of these ribs is that they are amphibious. You don't often hear about boats that can drive on land and water, but this is one of them. So here we go, come with me. As you can see, you've got this great big kind of wheel at the front and you've got two wheels at the back. This changed it for us because it meant we could just bomb in from the island, press a button that I'm going to show you in a minute, the wheels go down and we can just drive along the land. So these normally on ribs are inflatable tubes. Uh, these look like just a normal rib, but actually uh, these are made of solid foam. They can't deflate, they can't get punctured. Perfect. Oh, and the other cool thing is, look, even got a boom pole for you, Pete. He's going to love this, look. Everyone always says nobody cares about sound. Look, epic. <laughs> I love it, you got it. The other thing we've done is we've put a massive engine on the back of here, probably a uh, bigger engine than we are meant to go technically on this boat. Shh. But we put a 250 horsepower engine, so this boat will do about 45 knots, which is fast considering it's quite heavy. It's made of aluminium. Uh, we've got suspension seats. These go up and down nicely as you go flying over the waves. And then it's got an inboard engine here. So look, here we go, quick geek out moment for those of you who are into this sort of stuff. Inside here is an inboard. And that is what powers uh, the wheels. Final thing we've done to customize this, we've actually raised the tubes up. So we've come up about this much higher than normally on a boat like this. It gives you that feeling of being inside it, especially for us with young kids, rough seas, you want to feel absolutely safe. So let's do it. Come and have a drive. That's the inboard started. All clear, here we go. Easing our way forward. Okay, so you can just feel there, the boat starts to float, and that means we're now, the wheels, can, we can disengage those. We press these buttons, and you'll see the wheels coming up, 
and then the same at the front. So then we can turn the inboard off and turn to the outboard. That's engaged. And here we go. Let's open her up and you'll see what she's like. So we're doing like 30 knots. We're still on like half throttle here. You'll see, hold on tight, you'll see she corners. Really great. Okay, and then for coming out, again, approach with the outboard. You can bring that up. As soon as you see you're in pretty shallow water, you can engage the inboard. Start to put the wheels down. Here we go. You'll feel it start to lift up. Bring the stern ones fully up and then we're good to go. So there we go, job done. So there's a little geek out for you of uh, one of my passions. I've been dreaming of building our own custom made version of a sea legs for a long time. And that's why I'm really proud that we've done this. And I feel it's as tough as it can be. The ultimate sea legs amphibious route. Come on.